Alright, it's a new dawn and it's a new day. And we're already getting off to maybe, yeah, no, you, we failed. So, I'm on this train right now and I got on it at M. I took it all the way to K where I needed to go, but I was too busy messing around on my phone that it went from K to L and I have to go back to M, then to L, then to K. So basically, I just missed my stop. But what I'm worried about is because I never check bags. I, I don't know why, I just don't check bags in this life. I never have, I never like doing it. But because I flew from Shanghai to Paris to Manchester, like I've got stops in between, I was like, oh, I'll actually check my bag because it should transfer over. But it keeps doing announcements being like, don't forget your baggage, don't forget your baggage. And I've gone past the baggage claim and I'm like, Please leave the I'm like, oh shit, I've got to get off it. Oops. Oh wait, I've got to get on the other side. Uh, so basically, I've got to get to there, and I'm currently there. Right, so as I was saying before the train arrived, I got off and I have to go to a different air like terminal to go through. But because I've gone through transfers, I'm thinking, does that mean my bag goes along? Because I usually ask at the desk, but I just completely forgot because I was like, you know, with Lydia, like, oh, I'm going to miss you, going to miss you. Now, I forgot to ask whether or not my bag transfers the entire way through. I'm assuming it does, but if it doesn't, I'm never checking a bag ever again. I can do a little bit of shopping because I believe I have, um, yeah, that's not going to help. That's Shanghai time. I think I have an hour, maybe two. If I'm wrong, I'm definitely missing this fine. Oh, on second thoughts, maybe not, because that's a big ass line for Starbucks. I think I'm just gonna, I mean, I'm just gonna take them. I'm just gonna take the lift back downstairs, and uh, I'm just gonna go get a bottle of water somewhere. Okay, bye now. Okay, so one of the best things about coming to Paris's airport, right, is this here. It's like a fish. It's like a fish bar. It's caviar house and prunerio. Yeah, okay. Basically, they serve king crab leg, but it doesn't look open yet. No king crab leg. I can't. Ritsky, Manchester K53. Uh, oh, whoa. It's quite far down there. Jeez. Okay, so I'm trying to get my mum a gift, right, from Tiffany, because she's always wanted something from Tiffany. And I'm like, I'm going to get her somewhere. And so I'm here with this lovely lady, and I took a picture of it to send to Lydia, right? And I, I, it's my mum's birthday today, and I was like, this will be a really nice surprise. So I went to send a picture to Lydia, like, and tr trust me, even the lady was here, I sent it to Lydia, but the phone sent it to my mum. The gift I'm trying to get my mum, I sent to her, so I just texted her saying, I'm thinking of getting one of these for Lydia, and I've got 15 minutes before I get my flight, which one do you think? And oh, I feel sick. I can't believe I just... Oh, I feel horrible. I basically sent a picture of my mum's birthday present to her. Idiot. <laughs> this is what I've picked up for my mum. I think it's really classy, and I think it looks gorgeous. Nice little diamond in there, chilling. Got a pearl on it as well. <laughs> Lovely. Thank you. Oh, mate, that was just too much of a traumatic experience. So what I've managed to do is because my mum's boyfriend gets up early, I've told him to quickly get my mum's phone, delete the text messages from me. That way she won't see them. So delete the pictures I've sent, um, delete the, the, the fib I made up being like, oh, I might get this for Lydia. Just get rid of all of it. And if he gets rid of all of it, she won't have a single clue about anything. And I should just be able to get her this as birthday present without her knowing anything anything oh my god and i guessed it worked out perfectly because my flight is boarding is this mine i can't tell yep manchester well that worked out absolutely perfectly i managed to get my mum a birthday present and made it to my gate in time sweet don't you love this at airports because you can't smoke in public anymore they put you in these little glass boxes over here <laughs> Yes, you stay in there and kill yourself, you fools. Freaking ain't this about Air France. They take you from there, put you down this ramp, and you're just stuck here waiting. So pointless. Seven hours later, we're going home, boys. Take me home, country roads, to the place I belong. West Virginia, Air France airline, take me home. It is cold. All right, is this an hour or a two hour flight? Not too sure. Either way, I'm gonna try and sleep. Cause all I can assume is that we're gonna go out tonight getting drunk with my mom, so let's do it. All right, the sun is rising and I will say goodbye Paris. Look at how beautiful that view is. Oh my God, French, French. <laughs> France, you are delicious. Looks like we've got a little bit of granola, some yogurt and some salmon and cheese for breakfast. 
Oh, and for the record, that is definitely butter, not chocolate. It's actually a very nice breakfast, and we are just about to fly over England. Hello, my beautiful country. Oh, how I've missed you. Look at my little magical eyes there. I just spotted London. Because look, there's the Millennium Dome. And how cool is that? London from above? It looks minute from here. Hello, Manchester. Home sweet home. And now the downside to checking a bag. Rather than walking straight out security, out the door and getting in a taxi, I have to wait to get it. Oh dear, oh dear, oh dear. This is probably gonna take a while. 20 minutes later. I've just been waiting and waiting and waiting and waiting and still no suitcases come past. I was just sat next to like the typical British guy who's like, <laughs> like moaning about it. and I was just like, well it either comes or it doesn't. So you just wait until they all go round and then when they all go round and you haven't got it, you then complain and they'll get it delivered to your house. It's simple. And if it's not that simple, you get a bag full of dildos though, don't you? So, hey, you win some, you lose some. And if you don't get that kind of reference, uh, that is definitely, is it meet the fuckers or something? But, I think I found mine. Now, is there any dildos inside it? Oh, terminal three. We shall meet again, my friend. Until next time. It's home sweet home. Oh boy, it is chilly in England, but man, it is nice, look at it. Oh my lord, it's like a crisp day. I love it. Oh mate, I completely forgot. I have got these massive boxes from Razor to open. So uh, yeah, we'll be doing that later today. Um, right now I'm deciding whether or not I want to uh, go to bed. Seriously, if I get an hour, two hours keeping me now, I'll be absolutely set for the rest of the day, my mum's birthday. I won't be moping around being like, I'm tired, I'm tired, I'm tired. And especially if like we go out drinking and I have to have a drink, I will be passing the balls out, but it is good to be home. I go doing all this traveling and all this sort of stuff. And I always forget about home, but when I come back, it's like all the years of like YouTubing, working, businesses I've made and stuff like that. To come back to this and just be like, this is my home. I love it. Don't get me wrong, I'd love a hundred acres of land, like I said, and just fucking drive around go-karts in it all day and <laughs> sleep in a tent or something, but this will do. Right, 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 right. We're opening one package, okay? You're, you're being treated. You're being treated to one package being opened. I'm assuming it's from Razor because everything's from Razor. And I bet, oh, I, well, I kind of want to bet. I'm saying this is from Razer, and I want to say that this is going to be something to do with my laptop, you know, like a plug or something like that. But, upon saying that, I, th I know this is so, so random, but I've never seen that kind of tape used from Razer. This, oh no, 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 okay, okay, I read, I read the thing on the side, it says Razer. So what on earth is this going to be then? What's they sent me, the bloody cranks? Ooh, ooh, ladies and gentlemen, oh la 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 la, look at this, the Nari Ultimate. Nick the Dick from Razor's been going on about this, saying like how amazing it is, because apparently it's got like, uh, this is where I'm going to get this completely wrong, but apparently it's got a, like, it's got vibration built into the headset, so you know like usually when you hear volume it's like, whoop, 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 whoop. well this has got like hypersense technology to feel the action for an additional layer of immersion, which sounds absolutely epic. So these are basically better headphones than what I previously had, which is absolutely dope. And they've got hypersense in them. So uh, I'm about to try out some headphones that vibrate. <sighs> and at some point I am gonna have to go through all these random boxes, Compact the cardboard, put away my, oh wait, put away Christmas decorations. Um, but until I can be bothered, I'm just gonna shut the door, turn off the light and pretend I never saw it. Right, I'm gonna try and find out something here that if I would have tested before I went, my laptop charger, right? I may have been able to find a solution for it. So basically, when I went away, uh, I took the, the charger cable Razer gave me, which was this cable, right? Razer gave me that as, with the power pack. Didn't even question it, didn't even think about it because the laptop came fully charged. I got, got given a brand new laptop from Razer 
was so excited to use it on my trip and then couldn't because I couldn't charge it. So even though the team did try to get the cable out to me, you know, they, they tried to send one over, it didn't get didn't get out to me in time. And unfortunately, you know, I didn't receive it, so I couldn't use the laptop. Now, this is the ultimate test. This is the power bank, okay? So this is what I had, but I didn't have the cable going into it. Now, every other Razer laptop they send me comes with a European charger. This is American, okay, American charger. But they usually send me a European one. But what I usually do is I take the adapter from each previous laptop they gave me, this cable right here, which I think is like a Clover cable or something, and I put it into the old power block. Now, if this goes in here, if only I would have done the same thing I've done to every laptop, so I don't have to use an adapter, again, to make this not confusing, I always want a UK plug on this, not American, not European. So that's why I bought this and I've used it on my other razor blade laptop power banks so I can use it. Now if this goes into here, if I would have just done what I've done for every other laptop I received, I could have charged my laptop whilst I was away. Okay, well, the power symbol's on. If I turn this on and this is, go oh great. <laughs> Oh, you know when people say stick to what you know, I should have just stuck to what I knew. The laptop was fully charged, man. It was fully charged, so I didn't need to go, yeah, yeah, I'll mess around with the power cable or do any of this or any of that. I was just like, well, I've got a travel adapter in there, which is like a universal uh, travel adapter. So I'll just take with the, that with me. I'll be fine. <sighs> Nicholas the Dickless, you're fired, mate. I'm joking. Um, if only I would have, I would have checked beforehand. Could have taken it with me that entire time. But now I don't have to wait for Razer. Make sure it's working. Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. So yeah, now, now I don't have to wait like a couple of days for Razer to send me a new cable over just so I can even charge the laptop and use it. It is already ready to go. And I have a new neighbor. It's a horsey. Am I actually filming? Are you fucking kidding me? Are you literally me? Well, ain't that something? And uh, by the way, I've got something coming up about these houses that are supposed to be built over here. I was like, kind of okay with them building houses over here, um, just because it's like, you know, listen, if they're gonna, if the government's gonna put out, be like, yeah, we're gonna build houses, but like the same sort of spec as the, the area I live in, so you know, be like nice roads, you know, unique designed houses on it, sort of thing, kind of fits. Then I'd be totally fine with it. But apparently, they're gonna be absolutely trying to cram like hundreds of houses on this field at the back of my house, which is something I am totally against. But more importantly, uh, like, you remember like when Alice tries to take me to the train station or my dad or something like that, and the traffic already takes forever and I miss my trains and flights all the time. Well, if they go adding 200 more people in, that's like 200 more cars, which basically means the traffic is just gonna be worse. So this area where I live and I've lived my entire life is not ready are capable of handling an extra 200, 200 cars, if that, that's one per household. Like, that, that's just like maybe 200 houses there. There's gonna be like 2,000 houses in the area. So uh, yeah, there's gonna be a, a bit of a battle going on soon between like, I think the, the landowners here, the local government and the people who live in the local village, like the, the local village I've lived in my entire life, because I'm all for like, you know, people like wanting to develop land and do that sort of stuff, but as long as it makes sense. I don't want to be going like, oh, I'm going to go to Tesco and get some milk and be like, there's nowhere to park. Like, I'm stuck in traffic, which it was something, a journey that would take me five minutes takes me 50 minutes. Like, I'm like, no, 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 no. So um, uh, w w there's going to be a big, massive sort of uh, involvement with you guys uh, and the government about, like, Greenbelt land. Because that's Greenbelt. Like, they're not supposed to build on that, but they're trying, to, uh, they're trying to get it removed from Greenbelt so they can sell the land and make houses on it. So, uh, yeah. We don't need 200 people living at the back of this house. The whole reason I bought this house and built it was because it's got nice green belt land on the back of it, which I can step out to every day and just go, ah, it smells like hot shit. Um, instead of, ah, yeah, look at all these people beeping their horns, trying to get off the back of my house. Great, nice, so no thanks. A, a, a random note, by the way, you might be like, oh, Tom, nice flowers. Wow, would you look at these? Uh, just an FYI, they're not my flowers. Alice left them here. Because would you believe it? Alice went and got herself a brand deal. Not even joking. Hashtag, hashtag, can't English. Just can't English today. 
hashtag ad, hashtag sponsor for Alice, not me. But uh, Alice went and got herself a little uh, Instagram post where they're like, hey, use use the code this and we'll give you some money or a discount or something. So yeah, she uh, she came to my house, use my house as a as a like a photo shoot area, and uh, yeah, she got herself a little brand deal on Instagram. How cute is that? Oh my god, my, my family's coming up in the world. Let's get it. Oh my god, that means my sister's an influencer. <laughs> Freaking hate that word. Out of anything they could have ever named YouTubers or streamers or people on Instagram, anything, one person went, I know, influencers. They influence the young'uns of what to buy. Like, I don't know, like superior marketers or something like that. I don't know, that's a stupid name. I don't actually mean that. But like, influencers? Who the bloody hell came up with that? You, you, you tit. That's you are, whoever came up with that word. A tit. You might be a very nice person, I mean, no offence. But you're a tit. What a stupid word. I don't ever want to go in and introduce myself to someone and go, Hi, yes, oh yeah, my name's Tom. I'm an influencer. Right, time to send all the footage from yesterday over to Orion with my super fast internet. Damn right, that's what's happening right now, guys. Uh, if it wasn't for this computer being on whilst I was away, being able to upload the vlogs. Like, look, there's me uploading yesterday's vlog. It, it, it uploaded it. Look, these are all the files. Didn't even change the names or anything like that. Like, that's the thumbnail title. Like, if it wasn't for this computer and my super fast internet, that China trip would have been hell on earth. All right. Time to send it to Orion. Time to get my day started. And uh, probably should shower. If I should, if I, uh, you know, hmm. I did shower this morning, but that was basically a full day ago so yeah i should probably shower mate i thought i could hear a big plane coming over i'm pretty sure that's the emirates plane yeah biggest commercial plane in the world oh my god how does like you've got to give it to us as humans how on earth did we get something that big to just glide in the air that is absolutely crazy wow look at all those chemtrails I don't know if they're actually called chemtrails there. Someone said it in my comments on a photo, and I always call them chemtrails from that point on. But yeah, listen to how loud it is. Wow, crazy. Before I do anything, I'm just gonna pop it, get myself some milk. I've got absolutely none in the house. That means I can't have cereal, which is the most important meal of the day. And then again, I did kind of have like salmon on a plane a few hours ago, you know, but it's one of them. It's plain food, no matter what it is. So let's go and get some chocolate. <laughs> oh my god, I forgot it's my favourite cereal, right, for getting in the jag, for going getting some chocolate shreddies, and um, for everyone who's continuously asking, Tom, 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 when you get back, when you get back, when you get back, will you have the F-Type SVR, and the answer is, we're just waiting on it, I told you guys, it was really good, something apparently happened to the other car that they were like, they had ready, I had to sign the paperwork for, I was supposed to get it like, uh, the Monday before I flew out to, uh, to Shanghai and it just fell through and I was like oh my goodness me like this is the story that just never like it's the never ending story isn't it so fingers crossed in that hopefully towards like the 25th we may have um, an answer as to what's going on with the F SVR and I'm saying this kind of now if we don't get the F-Type SVR by the end of this month um, I've truly, truly, hand on heart, waited so long for that car and working with Jaguar, they've been amazing. But it's just taken so long that if it doesn't come by the end of the month, I'm ordering an Audi R8 V10. They're absolutely destroying this area, putting this new internet in. Holy crap. I told you, chocolate shreddies are that good. They don't even have them in stock. What an absolutely lovely day. Got myself some milk and I probably should have got more stuff from there, but I got milky, Milky bar mini eggs, because I'm fat. You can't make it up, can you? Right, I'm, wow. Um, <clears throat> parking sensors are a blessing and a curse. Look how far out I've parked this car. Look, at, look how far from the post I am. The sensors started beeping, so I thought I was close. Idiot, that's one out of 10 parking for me there. But, I was at Tesco getting that milk then. My mum rings me and she's like, I'll be at your house in 10 minutes and we're going out. I'm like, right, okay, that's great. One second, let me just turn the beast on. Right, let me just move the car. <clears throat> that should be better. That's more like it. Good stuff. So basically, I'm there in Tesco, and I'm almost like, right, I'm like, Tesco, get some milk, do you want anything? She's like, you better not get me a birthday card from there. And I'm like, well, I, don't, I don't really do birthday cards, never have. 
it just seems like a waste of money for a bit of paper it's like wrapping paper I'd rather do tin foil because you can just go and it's easy and it, you've still got the element of surprise whereas a, a birthday card you don't really do anything with it and she went she went i'm telling you right now if you haven't got me a birthday card and you've got it from tesco i'm gonna be happy so i'm like wait what you do want a birthday card but you want one not from tesco and she's like yeah because when i die i'm gonna get buried with all my favorite birthday cards on me so uh, basically i'm gonna get a birthday card happy birthday to you happy birthday to you happy birthday dear karen mumsky happy birthday to you that's milk <laughs> <laughs> nah, we okay. Come on then. Alright, I think I've scrubbed up nicely. Look at this. Uh, I'm wearing all black everything. Yeah, just like the colour of my soul. But uh, yeah, I th I th yeah wait, let me show you in the mirror. I'm uh, wearing all black everything. Could have done with a bit of colour in my life, but uh, I'm nice and dressed and sharp and showered and feeling smelly good. I don't have any aftershave, unfortunately, so um, maybe don't smell that good. But right, kid, there seems to be a bit of a problem with the Jaguar. I don't know if I said this before, but um, the Jaguar, I got in it. And it said like, exhaust filter full, okay? Um, drive carefully for the next 15 minutes. So I did at like 30 miles per hour, like it restricted it. Um, so I, dri I drove to Tesco back, dead casually, like 20 minute drive sort of thing whilst I was out in the car. And it seems to not have power. And I'm not too sure why, like it, it can drive, but it seems to be lacking power. And I don't know what is exactly stopping it. And I don't know how to, uh, solve it that said I'm, I'm saying there's a reduction in power um every time i get in it it's saying that there's air missing out the, the the tire around there so i'm thinking maybe if there's a flat tire or something like that it automatically restricts the power could be a thing so i'm gonna quickly pop down to the uh the garage now put some air in my tires i don't think fix there's a problem because i'm supposed to be driving uh me alice and my mum to go and uh you know, do the do. I'm supposed to be. Go I'm supposed to be. I'm supposed to be driving us to go to. I want to say Huddersfield. Could be wrong, but I'm supposed to be driving us there. So uh, I need a car. I've got low tire pressure and restricted performance. But say if I OK clear the tire, it still says press OK to clear restricted performance. I'm gonna. Go, I'm gonna put air in the tire now and see if that removes that. But um, yeah, that's my issue. All right, I checked my tyre pressure, I've bunged her on up. Let's see if I can start her up now, and uh, she'll not have an issue. All right, pray for me, boys. Uh, oh, she stopped and started, what the heck? All right, I'm still seeing the engine light, which is never a good thing. Not too sure what to say about that. Uh, tyre pressure monitoring set for light load. Okay, check all tyre pressures front left low. Well, it shouldn't be. Pull this two. Oh, I've got no more warnings, but I've still got the engine light. Why have I got restricted performance? This makes no sense. Hmm, maybe if I drive for a bit, it might, um, might get rid of it. Oh yeah, see, it's still saying the uh, the pressure's low, but it keeps updating. It went from 2.1 to 2.5, even though I'm not on 2.5 bar. I've got the perfect amount in right now, so not too sure why I'm still getting issues. All right, one dramatic drive later. Birthday woman over here. How are you doing? Birthday girl. Did I drive well? Birthday girl, yeah. Birthday girl. Birthday girl. I drive good for you. Thank you. She's like, thanks Jaguar for giving Tom a car that has the ability to turn sport mode on, sport mode off. Thank you for giving that way, a car that doesn't pull in. I'll be fine in the f type SVR. I'll be fine. What is that? Uh, either that's a purposely debadged Audi. Totally not awkward. I was just filming that guy's car as he walked over and he said it just came like that. He did not debadge it, it was not stolen. He just bought the Audi without the badge and he intends on putting one on. So we're now lost, trying to work out how to get into this shop. No, we missed the game. How do we get in the tea room for God's sake? Oh, this is very nice. Look at that. Do you want one of them for your birthday? <laughs> um, are you sure this is how we get to the cafe? Yeah. All right, let, let's, let's do it. Happy birthday to you. Happy birthday to you. Happy birthday, dear mother. Ah, oh, yeah, we've got to come clean. So you did bring your coat, 
Yeah, yeah. J- context, context. Mum asked for a coat out the boot, and we said it's not there because the water has gone off. Yeah, the water came out the flowers. Yeah, oh. Maybe you can look at it in the moment. Yeah, you, the, the water came out the flowers and soaked your coat. We should have brought it in. We could have dragged it on the table. Sorry. Thank you. Where's my thing? Where's my thing? Where? My two feet. Okay. What's in the hat? What's it? nothing? All right. Presents time. Are you stay I'll be fine. Presents Maybe. time. Okay, okay, okay. What's that? Oh my god! It's like the fairy. The fairies it's came. Oh, oh. <laughs> she she realised off my uh, silly silly handwriting. Mother seven centimeters. The so mother of. Too posh to use your hands. Yeah. What the heck? Oh, like what the heck? What the heck, mum? What the heck? Go on, read it if you're going to get buried to with it. A special mum, my favourite activity, a nice bath. Wait, it says a favourite activity, a nice bath? Yeah. It doesn't say that. Read it. Mr Pineapple Head says... By the way, that's my famous face, in it? I, I draw that in every birthday card I do. It was Mr. my first ever face I could draw. Mr Pineapple Head says, thank you for always believing in me. Smiley face, kiss, kiss, kiss. 54 kisses. Oh, 54. I thought you were trying to do a love heart. I'm 45. Okay, what the heck? Keep going. I think I miscalculated. Oh, to my mother. Oh, my mother. I think I miscalculated. Oh, to my mother. 243 centimetres square. Not your best kind of love. Mum, you are the best in every single way. So have a wonderful time on this your special day. With love, I love you to the moon and infinity and beyond. Lots of love, Tom, your only and best son. Quite Boom. true. Thank you. It's you like nice. it? A lot of thought went into that. Thank Good you very much. Good to be called best child because I'm the best child. Who's your favourite child now? I want it out now. Both of you. That is bull****. You know I am. Can I just say this right now? This food, that cake, is amazing. This food came so fast. No, where are we? Stockley Farm. Stockley Farm in Huddersfield. Is that right? Look at this for a sausage roll. I haven't seen a sausage roll I've ever had. I'm going for a taste test. Mmm. Crown and Hall. No. We don't stop the farm. We're at Cannon Hall. We're at, we're at Cannon Hall. Um, it looks nice, but it's pretty flavor- flavorless. Just um, saying. A lot of time and effort went into this. Thank you. Oh. Wow, you didn't even take any time. You dive straight into it. Do you like it? Mm-hmm. No. She said she wanted a, a, a thing from Pandora for a oh, bracelet. Not quite bracelet for oh, bloody hell, Karen. My turn. Nice scarf off Alice, Mum. Two shoes, sir. What? It's my turn. Okay, Mum, uh, Alice's turn. Um, popping on a bit of Chanel, are you? Chanel. <laughs> Chanel. Ooh, a bit of Chanel. Ooh, Chanel. Can you, can you see anything? Nope, we're back. Anything else? All right, put it back in. Close your eyes. Keep them closed. Now open your eyes. You ready? Poof! Magic trick. Alice's cool gauge. Hi, <laughs> <laughs> shut up. It's Ford. Ooh! Not going lie. This looks nice. I'm not going to lie. I'm sure I will. There's a really, really stressful story with this. Why does it smell so nice? It's a spray perfume. Can it from Tiffany? What do you expect? It's a necklace. Move all the. Who are we? That's lovely, that. Yeah, I like that. Thank you. Let's see. The suspense is killing me. Was it a pearl? Yeah. Oh, oh that's nice. Can't see a thing, Mum. Can't see a thing. Platinum chain, platinum setting with a diamond and a pearl. Right, you're listening. But do you like it? <laughs> Good pick. Josh! <laughs> uh, okay, so you ready for plot twist time? This morning, I was sending pictures to Lydia going over it, whether it was the right decision. I accidentally sent a picture of it to mum. Oh yeah. Oh, yeah. <laughs> oh my god, nearly ruined the whole f***ing surprise. So after all bloody that, she loves it. I've got a fat neck. Uh, not at all. No, no, she's got a really fat neck and it just doesn't fit. 
But no, no, no. It, even I took it when I finally like you know held it up because I only ever saw it on the display. So when I actually held it up, I was like, bloody hell, that is a bit of a small chain. Like even from from my eyes. So um, yeah, we need. I need to. I need to take it back, get it a bigger one, and we'll be sorted. Bye, Jaguar. Hello, Defender. Look at you, you beast. Who wears white trainers? I don't, you do know, like, people are trying to, like, do touristy things around here and you're just... I am the tourist. I am the tourist attraction. Yeah, you're just being loud. <laughs> it's all about mum, so mum, you, you can you get to be loud today. I hope she's got a wet wipe out. Don't worry, everything's going to be fine. <laughs> everything's going to be fine. I hope we're going the right way, by the way. Aha. Uh -huh. So this is where we are. Cannon Hall. Mmm. -hmm. So much British culture. Uh, the heck? So why has this, this guy got his nipples out? So they know where we're going. <laughs> oh, I don't have a clue where we're going, but all I can say is this is just bloody lovely. By the way, Mum, this is my dream situation. No joke. I want a big long drive going up to my house, loads of land to drive my Defender, and then boom, big house. You're not a, you're not a, you're not a lord. Or am I? <laughs> this was worth coming back from Shanghai for. Can I just say, this house has cannons. Wow, this is my, honestly, this is like my, this is my dream setup. I think I kind of know what I'm after now. Loads of land like this. Oh, for goodness sake, oh, so I'm taking photos. Oh, look, I'm taking pictures. Alice, we're supposed to be going to a petting zoo, not um, an eating zoo. Ha, <laughs> boom. Oh, heck yeah. I think I'm gonna get some lamb cutlets and some ribeye steaks. Whoa. Open today. All customers must leave the farm and playground by 6.30. Welcome to Cannon Hall Farm. Yes. You got a baby alpaca? Yeah. Okay, pay. <laughs> I'm not paying. You back, pay. Back. I bought for dinner. Yeah, okay. Hold the damn phone. This is the craziest zoo I've ever been to. There's meerkats. There's actually meerkats just chilling there, but what is this? Oh wait, hang on a minute. I just realized. That's not part of the farm. That's a play pen for kids. <laughs> I was gonna say that's a that's a crazy. Well, look, it says sheep racing arena, and then that's next to it. So can we just can we just put two and two together? Sheep racing arena. If that was the arena, look at it. Oh my god, I'm watching that sport. Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. What have we got? What have we got? Right, so we're we're there. Right, that's what I thought the sheep race. Ah, there's sheep racing. Okay, there's the llamas or alpacas. Um, I right uh, mean, either. Oh, let's go to the milking look, parlor. This is the sheep. That's where the sheep are up there. Well, why do we want to see sheep? Because there's baby lambs. Oh, oh. what are these? Oh, look at the birds. Oh, they're lovely. Like um, Instagram versus reality. Right, yeah, I'll see you in the middle. Alice, you go in that one. Mum, you go in the end one. All right, meet you in there. Oh, it's a bit tight. Oh, um, yeah. <laughs> This is, this is seriously tough. I don't think this is made for adults. Oh, it's really hot as well. I wouldn't recommend this. What? Yeah, this is definitely for kids. What? Then I'm definitely fat. That didn't sound too good. I, I thought that was an exit. There's a glass wall in the way. Yeah, I would crawl, but there's water on the floor. Oh, God. Oh, oh, no! Okay. Okay. This is gonna take a while. <laughs> Psych, found the exit. Let's go. Let's go. Let's go. Let's go. Let's go. Let's go. Come on. No, no! <laughs> we tried to sneak off and leave Alice in the maze. <laughs> Alice, yeah, I went over this one. The, the, I came out kind of worse for wear out of that, so don't think I want to repeat it. Just saying, if I was a kid, this would be the sickest thing. Look how big this maze is. That is amazing. Oh, God. Oh, God. Ah, Zilla's climbing in. <laughs> it is hot, isn't it? <laughs> Where is she? Where is she? <laughs> what on earth is going on? Watch. <laughs> Are you having fun?
There's not a really close exit, to be honest. The KFC chicken, if I've ever seen it, or the KFC rooster. Hello. Oh, it's coming. Are you going to bite my finger? What if they think it's a maggot? Yeah, that's my way of attempting to talk to chicken, but it's not working. Hey, what's up, dog? God damn it, I want him to reply. Oh, wait, my, my mum's found a ferret. Okay. All right, was there a ferret? Don't see a ferret. Mum, it's right there. I can see the ferret. It's right there. Big yeah. white ferret. Seen him having a drink. His teeth are so sharp. Yeah, Mum, our friend used to have one. Sure, no. Aw, that's cute. Oh my God, she's such a pain. All right, here she goes. What's she doing? What are you doing? Oh God, this is just going to end in tears. All right, Mum, you've got one job. Watch Alice. Are you filming? Yeah. Spider Man. Spider Man does whatever a spider can. Am I supposed to tightrope walk? Yeah, one on top and one on bottom. <laughs> Pretend you're doing the SAS thing. <laughs> Who stares wins? Yeah, that's the one. Which you miss while you're on holiday, by the way. It was very good. Here on this. Bloody hell. Did Alice really make a way through this entire thing? So no, she cheats, doesn't she? You say she cheats? She always cheats. She'll cheat at anything. She doesn't look like she's cheating now. Well, she's enjoying herself Wait, now. I want to go and play on that, though. Did we come here for you for your birthday, or did we come here for Alice? I just came where you, I knew you'd be happy. <laughs> <laughs> I'm watching. <laughs> go on. God, bloody hell. It's the fattest ass I've, I've ever know. seen. Hit the gym, fat ass! Mm, yeah, debatable. <laughs> oh my god! Okay, 10 out of 10 for effort there. That was actually impressive. Raw, well done, Alice. Just, just as an FYI, I do pretty much have whiplash, and I'm not even joking, but I have to have a go at this. This is actually like, even though it's like a kid's pack, it's actually sick. I'm always tempted to say it's for adults as well. No, teenagers. Teenagers. I want to go and see the animals. Hurry up. Oh man, imagine if I pretended that other one wasn't below me. I think you're supposed to swing from one to the other. I don't. Jump, you fat bastard. <laughs> right, you need to go and help Alice now. I'm stopping. Jump, Alice, you can do it, just jump. Oh my gosh, it. it's Azilla! <laughs> I'm not done it yet. Yeah, you're fine, I'm worried. Boring contents in a bit. <laughs> I hope she falls through it. If one foot goes through, she's just gonna bit. <laughs> oh, what? All I can say is, you're going to look lovely on my plate later on. <laughs> oh my gosh, I don't want to eat you. You look adorable. Oh, he's looking at me. I'll never eat a lamb chop again, I promise. Uh, Ryan, you can keep this in, but um, if I ever eat lamb chops again, Go you on. have to use that footage of me going, I'll never eat you again, and then me eating a lamb chop. Pretty savage, but hey, that's yeah, life. Oh wait, that one's pregnant. Oh, look. That one's a big fat bugger. Aren't you saucy? Ooh. These ones are really ones, that's what she was saying to me. Oh really? So the ones that are maybe pulsating, got babies in. Oh, um, yeah, that, it's literally vibrating, what the heck? Hey, there's one sh there's one go in this entire pen that said fuck the system. The Which one? one? <laughs> Mum, <laughs> you're not oh, supposed yeah. to be in it, you crank. They can, they what a legend! Well, okay, that one's definitely pregnant or just yeah, fat. I'm yeah, not trying to body shape while I really zoomed in on its butthole there. Okay, wait, alright, I think we're gonna have, we think we're gonna have to boil. Oh, that's the second animal today I've filmed pooping.
Sorry. <laughs> These are goats. They have horns. These are goats. Wait, is that one about to stand on that one? Wait, what? Wait, what? Yeah, you this down there. Yeah. In the sheep pen, is that sheep or goat? That's. I don't know. It's pretty far. That's an in between. Listen, it's 2019. All right, let it let it be whatever it wants to be. Sheep, goat. You go, Glen Coco. Wait. Okay. Now this one's put. Wait. I'm gonna admit they're all put. Stop. Look. They're all pulsating. What's going on? Is that a sheep or a goat? What if it's a cow? Because it's definitely got the definition stripes of a cow. It's got horns like a goat. It's got horns like a goat, but it looks like a sheep. Oh, maybe it's a ram then. It could be a ram. Wait. This picture's here. Alice, it's that one. It's a Jacob sheep. It's a Jacob sheep. I definitely think that's a Jacob sheep. Um, um, Alice, it's. I think it's. 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 Things hanging out. I think there's a baby coming out of it right now. Look at the I back of it. it. That's just um, um I have zoomed in. It definitely looks like there's a baby coming out of it. I actually think we might be witnessing birth. Is it something moving? Or is it just it's like uh no it's definitely something it's moving. Right it's taking its first steps. Look it's it's wobbling. It was walking ten minutes ago. Uh, look, it's, oh, it's, oh. Oh, my God. it's so cute. Oh, it's got a wig. Oh. Look, it's it's waiting for his brother to come out. Come on, Dave, they you're taking all all day. So cute. Let's have mohawks. What up, brother? Oh my gosh, he's coming say hello. What up, brother? Oh my gosh, you have. I'm just making an owl noise. Do you want to nibble my finger? Oh nope, he does not like fingers. I think it's copying me. <laughs> oh, his mates come over and, and upset us. Whoa, that's a really yellow one. That's absolutely massive. Whoa! Oh my gosh. I've now successfully lost everyone. So I'm guessing they're in here. Surprise, surprise. What is this? I'm trying to work out what it is from the back. Yeah, end. what the heck? Like is it real? Oh, they're real. That's the. That's kind of like the weirdest combination of animals just chilling. Rosie and Catnap. Good pals. Can, can you stroke them? Yeah. yeah. Guess which one's which? Rosie and Caramel. Rosie. Caramel. What? I don't know, Alice. <laughs> That is um not trying to body shame a rabbit or anything, but that's a big rabbit. Is it a hare or just a rabbit? Wow. Oh my gosh. Is there a reason why they're just sat there and not moving? <laughs> oh, this is probably why. Ali said it smells in here. Oh, jeez, jeez. Oh. Oh, look at the size of that. Oh my god, it's the size of my thumb. That's what my pigs are supposed to look like. Oh my lord. Okay, that is a big boy right there. Oh my goodness me. Oh, can we buy him? Oh, can we buy him? Oh, it's so small. Look, look at that one. Oh my gosh. They're so cute when they're small, but then they turn into that. Bloody hell. Oh, oh boy. That is a lot of piggies. That one breathe down there. He's just got his mate sat on top of him. That's that's a lot of pigs. Oh my gosh! There's so there's so many piggies. Hello, boys or girls, whatever you choose to be. It's your decision. I'm gonna make a noise. Watch the ears. Ready? Three, two, one. Wee! Oh, I'm not doing it. Wee! Wee! go. It's like an orchestra. <laughs> I don't know what YouTube's guidelines are face, on though. animal nipples, so Orion, we're gonna need some blurridge on that. <laughs> oh, look at this, a massive just pile of them. You know, you guys could just spread out a little bit more and you'd probably be more comfortable. How can the one underneath that middle pile? Yeah, but how can he breathe? Let him breathe. Oh my god, I didn't know Alice was in a pen. Oh, you fat pig! Let me give you a bit of education, yeah? This one, land race. It was imported from Sweden. Look at that. They called it land race, who knows why. This one came over, they called it lop. Probably because of its, of its loppy ears. They then imported this one. What do they call it? 
Large black. Creative, guys. Well done. Yeah. The, oh, they have. Look, there's the placenta. Oh, my gosh. They've literally just come out. Oh, my goodness me. Wow. Oh, my goodness me. Oh. Oh. He's got a little black spot on his bottom. Oh, my gosh. Look at them. That's so cute. This is well and... Yeah. Would you look at that view? This is well and truly what dreams are made of. Imagine owning all that land. Freaking hell. Oh, that is heaven right there. I don't know why, I just love space with nothing on it. Beautiful. Absolutely beautiful. This place is gorgeous. Not even joking, there's a farm uh, around the corner for me uh, for sale. But it's like uh, a lot of money. So I don't think we'd ever buy it. But if I could convince my family all to go into a family business with me, it could be pretty cool. It what? Looks a bit like a giraffe. Yeah, okay, it's nasty there. That was a llama. This is an alpaca. Whoa. Look at it. Mate, this is totally a camel meets a giraffe. With hair, though. <laughs> Hello, my friend. You look beautiful. I like your face. I want to kiss it. I told you. I told you. I'm meant to be a farmer. Defenders assemble. What? Okay, so at first I was like, what even is this? And then I realised, look, as it goes up, the ants are crawling all the way. No, but look, 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 look. The ants are crawling all the way. This can't be real. Yeah, it is. Look, it goes all the way, all the way. Wait, where does it go? Oh my gosh, they're going the... What? Wait, where does it go to? Wait, where does it... I'm sorry, but can we just... This can't be right. Look at how long this goes. It's still going. Oh, wait, it go Oh, it goes all the way around to the room to this. Wow. This is the most craziest ant. What? Oh, God. Look how many there is. So there's ants literally everywhere. I wonder if we've killed any. Yeah, some of these have definitely fallen off and died a death. But look at them. They're all just, oh, one just fell off. There, oh no. I'd put you back up, but I'll probably kill it. Oh, don't do it. Oh, he's still alive. Look at that, my boy. Oh my gosh, that is weird. We're actually throwing down. I'm gonna give you a really good competition here. Whoever can spot, look at me, don't look in the background. Look at, look at me, look at the camera, look at the camera. Whoever can find the chameleon first wins a new phone. Go. Stop. Whoever can find, the, the, and it's got to be the chameleon I found. What else is in there? You're suggesting we might find another one. Yeah, it's got to be the one I saw. There. <laughs> yep. Yeah. Yeah. Well done. Hey, you've got to your now. Yep. All right. Yeah. Well done. Yeah. Look at him. What a little <laughs> ninja. Yeah. Well blended in. Really? Oh yeah. From the angle you came up at, yeah. Well done, hey! You just win yourself a new phone, high five! Karen has found a hippopotamus! <laughs> um, we found a hermit crab just going on an absolute mad... I don't know, it might just, might just be one who's got a selection of houses to go through, but... He's, have, he's on a little madden, isn't he? In four minutes, we will get to see the mini beasts! No idea what that is. It just had to be... Where is he? Where are you, you lazy little bat? Oh, he's doing a Steve! Seems like all bearded dragons are doing it. He's just sat in the corner at the back like, I don't want to come out and play. He looks like a big one as well though. In the back corner, look at him. Ooh, he's a big one. All right. Has he got a name? Well, we've got about 20, which is... Yeah, <laughs> uh, yeah dead so, identifiable. So usually we call them Harry. Harry, ooh. You're a wizard, Harry. You having fun? Yeah. Wow, this is, we just waited like 15 minutes. We waited there. The sign said, mini beast. We were like, whoa. What is the mini beast gonna be? It came out. Whoa! It was Harry the cockroach. <laughs> Beastly. Mum, have you had a good I birthday? Don't think he could feel have you had a good birthday? Yeah, it's been great. I love it. Do you want to go in the park? She sounds so enthusiastic. It's sorry, yeah. sorry, sorry. Well, considering she's like, morning, well, you didn't get me the right uh, makeup brush. No, My necklace didn't fit me. Have you two had a good time? Because I thought you'd like it. Here. Yeah, but I'd like. I'm it had a great time. Not actually great. Time. Does it shock you that? 
Alice has gone in the playpen, which is definitely, oh my God, she's gonna fall through that. It says for 12 year olds maximum. <laughs> Oh my god. No. Not even joking. That slide looks epic. I'm tempted. Right, so Alice is making her way through to get up to there to cook. Yeah, she's, look she's looking for a child called Alfie. That's the name we came up with. Wait, she's going down. You need to be going up, you crank. What are you doing? What a tit. She's just struggling finding Alfie, isn't she? Just saying. That is good. That is pretty friggin' phenomenal. I can say without a doubt, this was absolutely 10 out of 10. Absolutely incredible. Seriously, this was so good. If you ever want to go somewhere, make sure you go to Cannon Hall Farm. This was amazing. For an adult, it cost £6.95 to go in, and that was amazing. Family ticket, 26 quid. Amazing. Under two is free. Amazing. Rib of beef on the bone. Oh, that looks pretty damn good. Look at those ribeye steaks and them rumps. I'm gonna get a ribeye and a rump. That sounds like a plan. That's the biggest pork pie I've ever seen in my life. But also, um, I got a ribeye, a rump, and three lamb cutlets. So, man's eating good. Great decisions have been made. This place is amazing. Craft beers, gins, chocolate, sweets. What more could you ask for? I honestly think that was one of the best birthday days out we've ever had. No, Mom, good did you enjoy yourself? Yeah, every birthday day is a good day though, isn't it? Good day, right? Mm. You know what? This has been great. Don't Guys, don't forget, that. go to cinecoriginal.com and make sure you get your t-shirts so Mum and Alice can actually have a job, therefore they don't get to go on adventures like this anymore. Goodbye. Okay, I'm kidding. Guys, um, when the next 12 months rolls around uh, on the 14th of February, can everyone please not buy t-shirts a few days leading up to it? <laughs> just so my mum can have a, a non-busy day again, please. And if you think she gets the day off work, you, so, you are wrong. I'm going to work right now. I'm I know. <laughs> no, I'm just, okay, let's clarify something. I do indeed give them birthdays off. If she wanted to take a week off yeah, right yeah. now, I'd find me if if i wanted if, if they wanted to take a week off tomorrow i'd let them I'm, I'm a pretty pretty easy going boss but then again i don't really think i'm the boss because every time i say you're fired they're still there this ladies and gentlemen is why i will always choose england over any other country look at that view look at where we are right now look at where we're driving I'm not, Darren, I'm not shitting you. That might be the oldest cat I've ever seen then. If that's 20 years old. He's 20. Oh, older than 20 years old? Can you see? Yeah. Not really. All right, come on, let, let's settle the debate, right? He, well, can. he can clearly smell his food, so you keep on kicking, boy. And we are home. Look at that sunset. Bloody hell. That is absolutely gorgeous. Would you just, would you just look at that view wow absolutely beautiful and let's see what i'm talking about the houses if they build like 500 bloody houses here it'll just completely ruin the whole point of why i bought this house and why this neighborhood has been this neighborhood for so long it just makes no sense so hell no thank you why hello there steve wise ganji uh, i can see why you're not a bit happy in there today your bulb's actually gone this time listen it's gone you can see the filament has popped that's my mission for tomorrow. Steven is fed and get a replacement bulb. So, swell, I'm coming for you. £3.50 in hand and all. Oh, man, I got word off of Ryan that yesterday's vlog of me like doing the, the taste test of fries and nuggets in Shanghai with, you know, KFC, McDonald's and Burger King. And then flying home altogether is like an hour long. So, it's currently 5.45 and I don't even think the vlog's uploaded on Ryan's end. Yeah, uh, yeah, even for me to upload it to YouTube, it'll only take about five minutes, uh, but it needs to process, so that'll probably take like two hours. It's crazy, I can upload a vlog quicker than YouTube can process it now. Just bonkers!
just sit back and just read someone else's chat. It's nice. Uh, yeah, oh yeah, because everyone have been going over and clotting and trucks and stuff. Oh. Sorry, it's your knee. Head glitch. It's not here, is it? You're not turning now. What? Ah! Oh, what the heck? You're unscarable. Nice show, bro. Look at this right. shit. I'm not streaming, don't worry. No. Oh, I missed you! You're my Valentine! <laughs> you walked in here I think Carl's done something for you. I like, yeah, I thought I'd interrupted and I saw you. Did you put a little card on the table for me? I haven't opened it. No, I haven't opened oh, it yet! It Bro, been. you're so much sick! Oh, good, is it? Dude, this desk is awesome. This is actually epic. This is so cool. Yeah, that's the this is actually. Like fucking crystal clear. That's your appointment. Oh, you've got the new mic set up and everything. I'm, I need what you've done. With mine. I've actually got that, but in America, god damn it. This is epic. I love how we nicked my computer. You little s. Come on, come on. I've got lots you of presents for you tomorrow. <laughs> lots of presents. I've got presents for you downstairs. <laughs> what? I'm just so proud of Carl. I'm here in his house. So tired about to fall asleep on Valentine's Day. Flowers around me and all that sort of sh. And he's currently playing Blackout with Brian. He's making really good call outs. I can hear it. I can tell he's doing really good plays. I'm so proud. I I was just listening to your audio on stream and it sounded beautiful. Hey, you've got you've got some explaining to do, mate. What's this? What what's this? Do you know? Look, I couldn't bear life without you. I didn't even see that. And guess what they are? The gummy bears! The little bears, isn't it? Jesus Christ, you genius! <laughs> well, I was staying having dinner, but I said, you know what, suck this, I don't want your food. Jokes. Um, I've got to go and get my apartment keys for LA, because my my, my papa is going visiting uh, Los Angeles, and because he's visiting Los Angeles, uh, so, because they're going out, I'm going to give him my uh, my keys now and say goodbye to papa before he goes, so bye-bye, papa. <laughs> That's literal we just had a conversation of never crashed this car. She just drove over a cone. It was right in front of her. She drove over it. Let's hope the squishy one. Yeah. It was not a squishy one. Oh, <laughs> Ooh, Gail, you're so romantic. Ooh, so romantic. If I come in here and there's not a candle lit, I'm gonna be sad. What the heck? What did you burn? <laughs> yeah, sure. Okay, okay. Whoa, you've got you've got a wine a wine decanter. Who the bloody hell are you two? The fancy. That's fancy. You fancy? Wow, you fancy. Mm, you fancy. Oh, and I'm downstairs crazy in this house. You're so nice, I love it. <laughs> what a beautiful table with a cat box right there. It's very nice. Box <laughs> is real nice next to being like, you know, no one sees in corners. I hate that. We hide, see it. we hide it in the corners. Corners poo. Oh my god, there's poo on the wall. <laughs> there's literally poo. <laughs> there's, there's poo. Poutini! I'm sorry, it's been nice. Right, you I'm still in Japan, I'm going to steal this Japan. I'm steal some sauce real quick. No. It's very nice. Oh. Mm, it's nice. Oh. Mm, it's very nice. Which one's mine? Oh. Okay, that's this one mine. Where'd you get steaks from? Tesco. Mmm, okay, I'm going, I'm going, I'm going, I'm going. You better know I'm taste testing the shit. Oh, there's steak. Alright. Oh, sauce me up, darling. Oh, oh, have you got have you got something to put the sauce in, Alice? You mean my saucer dish? Oh, you took it back. Thanks. Appreciate it. It's been seven days and seven hours. I've been coughing and breathing in this. Sounds great. Don't know your Thank you for having me for dinner. Honestly, I do appreciate it. You've even got a card. I'm really excited to read this card. It better have a poem in it. Is it got? 
There's no poem in it. Who else got you a card? Ah. Yeah. Uh, all right. Well, well, I was joking, me. I was joking. Stop dealing drugs. You think car works for British gas? Mm mm. BG stands for backside gangsters. I don't know, do. This medium steak is looking very tasty. Mm. Okay, one minute to go, and then I can eat my steak. Mm, great. It's been sixteen years. <coughs> Chips are going cold. I snuck. They do not notice me snuck. Why is this so? Very nice. Oh, do I have to say grace because I'm a guest? Yeah. All right. So, um, to the the good old boy, thank you. you uh, yeah, pretty freezing. Doors still wide open. Uh, not too sure why. <laughs> windows open. Other windows open. I'm wearing, I'm wearing the coat. Anyway. Oh yeah, Grace. Uh, thanks for the food. Um, pie it hard. Life's too short. Make the most of it. Peace out. Oh yeah, happy happy Valentine's Day, guys. Oh, that sauce looks good. Welcome to Tom's review of Carl's food. You just gave me a lot of sauce, mate. Okay. This is living with her. Okay, okay. I love that they actually have a big loaf of bread by the side just to clean up the sauce afterwards. That is genius. Mm, okay, okay. I'm gonna try the sauce in the chip. He definitely did lay the sauce on thick. I think you did that when you had tasted steak. But mother of God, that's a good sauce. You mm. did good, kid. You did good. I'm gonna, I'm gonna guess he did this recently because he dropped it in some sort of lettuce. Well, that was me when I was oh, making she, the table. She, she dropped it in cabbage or something. Okay. It says to Tom. <laughs> Got a Valentine. <laughs> One I love. Your egg to my bacon. Oh, oh it was raining the day. <laughs> oh, yeah. <laughs> You might everything to me. <laughs> You're the salt of my vinegar, the fish to my chips, and the key to your car. No, 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 no. Sort of stuff like that. Okay, well, dear Tom, <laughs> we love you to the moon and but we. Oh, yeah. We love you to the moon, but will, will you be our Valentine? And Alice. Oh, this was from you. Watch. Watch. Oh wait. We'll love you to the moon. And, we love you to the moon and back. Will you be our Valentine, Carl and Alice? P.S. My Valentine. <laughs> Damn right, I'm gonna be brother. Yeah. <laughs> I'm about to be brutally honest. You ready? First, first bite. Medium. Looking very pink, but looking very medium. Special instructions. Mm -hmm. Cheers. Very peppery. That's a sauce. Cheers. Damn. That's a good ass medium steak. I'll be back. That's what, what did you just say? I know you don't eat expired. Yeah. I know chips, you don't eat green. Chips were amazing. Sauce was amazing. But I'd say extremely peppery. I don't know if that was a steak or the sauce. sauce. Extremely peppery. Like I feel like it. Good in here. And 8.3. That'll be fine. Is that it? 8.3. Uh, but. I'll take that. No, it would have got much higher. If you didn't put asparagus on the plate, I knew, I knew don't eat, eat it. asparagus. I knew we wouldn't eat that. Makes your pee smell. Do you I, just, I just don't like it. Do you have a green beans? Don't really I'd have had like green beans. beans. I'd have had a Tesco one pound bag of uh, <laughs> broccoli. You really got that. Honestly, you on its own, it's 8.3. You'd have run a good drink. combination with it, bro. You would have been at a nine. It's alright, it's worth it. I'll take that. It's not real. Don't make me feel sick. Someone who didn't. I'm doing it. Oh, you're so oh, good! Happy Valentine's Day! Get out of the house! Uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Get out of the house! Happy Valentine's Day! 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 Happy Butter bread. Oh, butter bread. Oh, but. Okay. Look at him there. Salivating. Ha! Look how happy he is. Look at that bit there. Carl. Carl, you don't give you an 8.3. <laughs> 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 Carl, you don't give you an 8.3. My G. <laughs> <laughs>
That's a nine. Oh! That is a bunky nine. Oh my god, the button, that looks so good with the sauce. Wow. Bro, I'm not joking when I say this, by the way. Last night, we were having dinner. Mm -hmm. I got up from having bangers and mash, drove to Tesco to get Warby's bread, yeah. come back, just Left me at the table. Left me at the table just to get the bread. It's a nine. It's a nine. It's a nine. It makes the meal. Oh, that's so good. <laughs> Bill, your nine just got revoked, oh, mate. No, 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 no. What is that? Wait, wait for it. It's like Jaws. Wait, wait. Let me rotate. It's like Jaws. <laughs> there. There is. There is. Dun 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 dun. Where is it? No, trust me. It's it's in there somewhere. No, in, there. Trust me, in the depths <laughs> of this drink, there is something. You're hanging for dropping that in my drink. I knew it. <laughs> you might have put my mouth on it a bit. Oh. Well, you claimed it. It's yours now. Thank you for having me. I'm going to go because I'm going to fall asleep on this. Did I fall asleep then? Uh, I, think I, I think I fell asleep. Love you, bro. Love you, bro. See you tomorrow night. Okay. God speak. Good luck. All right, let's do what this. Do you out of 10. Uh, for your first, you set it up yourself. One hundred percent of ten. There's nothing better than I always wanted you to like experience a janky setup at mine because we did it with a laptop, didn't we? The self laptop, and that was a bit that was a bit janky. Then we used my computer, so it was a bit more janky. And I've got your own setup, so now you can build from there because it's still janky because you've got a terrorizer chair. Not a syndicate chair, which doesn't exist yet, but it's like it's getting together, so you get 10 out of 10, mate. Thank you for dinner. Love you. Bye. Don't know what she's doing. Goodbye. You're... Bye. Don't hit a cone. Um, I had another package arrive, but it went to Carl's house and it's for me. And I kind of know who it's from, but uh, I'm not opening it now, guys. I'm so tired. It's like 8 o'clock at night. My eyes are closing. They were, Alice and Carl were like, yeah, yeah, stay, 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 we can like have a drink and all that sort of stuff together. But I was like, it is Valentine's Day, guys. Just enjoy your night together. I'll leave sort of thing. Uh, but they're like, no, no, it's cool. But I'm just like, I'm just too tired. I need to pass out. As you've seen from the vlog, today has been a long ass day. I've traveled all the way back from Shang bloody high. <sighs> it's been a long one. But, you know what, I, I am just going to end the vlog here, guys. I, I haven't yet got yesterday's vlog up, which is currently two hours late, but it's an hour-long video, so I think it makes sense. So I'm going to try and get that up as soon as I can. It just takes so long to process on YouTube. But I'm going to end today's vlog just because nothing else is going to happen other than I'm just going to get in bed, put on Netflix, and pass the hell out. So honestly, again, like the support on these videos has been amazing. Like The amount of new people who've been like, coming over to the channel like a lot of like old dead channels have been getting deleted off youtube recently like you can see it in my settings like deleted closed accounts have been like getting getting gone but so many more new people are coming to the channel and subscribing which is amazing so to everyone who's new around here welcome um i'm back in england now we will have some more adventures coming up soon gonna be going to los angeles canada and then there was one there was another place in the list of places that i need to go I think Iceland's one of them, but then there's one somewhere else, but I can't remember, but I've got some really cool trips involving like, you know, Brad the helicopter guy and stuff like that. Oh, Cayman Islands, that was it. Yeah, I'm gonna sort that out. But uh, yeah, I'm just, I've got lots of stuff coming up and I'm really excited, you know, and especially now being able to like, get up on a routine and have a Ryan on board. It gives me that freedom to be able to like, do everything that I need to do or want to do in a day, like achieve maximum success. And still have a vlog out for you guys, which I absolutely love to do. So I'm going to go to bed now. Tom's died. I closed the curtains. It's it's good night time. Sleep tight now. Okay, bye now. Thank you for watching. I love you. I'll leave you. And a sadness.